Adam and Terry, big three days of Warrnambool coming up. Terry, start off with you. You come from up north. What were your first recollections when you came to Warrnambool the first time? Well, I've got to be honest, uh, Edward. I used to watch the jumps racing in Victoria and thought, yeah, that's yeah, nice little change for this time of year, getting into the colder winter months. And then when I went to Warrnambool, my ears quickly went up. And I had a real learning curve there because the great appreciation that the racing fraternity have with jumps racing is just astronomical and the jumps jockeys and their horsemanship is quite unbelievable and seeing Scotty and Craig Durden and McLean and Pateman and all those riders the last six years has been a real thrill for me as a broadcaster. How, how's it different calling? What's it like to call a race like the Grand Daniel Terry? Uh, you can go off too early. <laughs> you've, got to, you've got to pace yourself a little bit. It's a, it's a real staying contest. You've got to keep your mind pretty well on the job as well. You can't go drifting off you've got to remember where the horses are and you've got to take in a bit of the history of the race and what it means and it's pretty easy to get excited because when there's a couple of horses going stride for stride coming to a jump the great horsemanship and each horse straining each muscle and send you to get over the jump really gets the old lungs pumping so yeah it's, it's wonderful fun doing it but Adam what are your first recollections of the Warrnambool Carnival? I went uh, as a kid a uh, number of times uh, around the uh, the years of Hokie winning and we won a number of uh, grand annuals in a row and then I had an absence until I joined TVN and I went a number of years ago and haven't been the last couple of years so I've probably been three or four times over you know a space of 20 years and it's such a great party uh, you know you compare uh, it to the, the Flemington carnival almost as far as the party atmosphere uh, but I reckon more people go for the racing not for the party, they just like having a party in between, but it's a, a lot of people who enjoy their racing, enjoy their jumps racing especially. especially. Uh, you know, as, as soon as one carnival finishes, people are taking time off work for the next year, 12 months later, and uh, it's always good to get down there and I really enjoy uh, being part of it. I think that's a good point you make, mm. Adam, because that's what I've learned as well. It's not about the young people coming to the races, drinking alcohol and having a good time and chasing mm. the fillies. It's about racing people mm. or people that actually have a real um, necessity to want to learn about thoroughbred racing or have been part of it for many years all getting there together and enjoying and rejoicing in the great industry that we have so I think that's a good point. And the nominations that we had for the meeting over a thousand nominations for the three days just shows you that the trainers are all over the state they don't have to be Warrnambool based or that side of town Melbourne even from Gippsland they're just eager to get there be a part of it and it's tough being a part of it because no, no doubt a number of horses are balloted out and that usually brings forward you know the best competitive races that we can have on a on a provincial setting. Has there been anything that's caught your eye in the lead up to the big races of Warrnambool this next week? That's your question Terry. Well Tara Weera, mm -hmm. um, him going there, he's the new rising star of uh, Jumps Racing so I'm looking forward to seeing what he's got to, uh, to offer during the carnival. A lot of young horses coming through as well so I'm, I'm really looking forward to that. As far as the racing on the flat's concerned, I've had a look at the first day already, just gone through the form and I've got no idea. Mm. Every horse at every race has a chance. It is so competitive. It's city, country, provincial, a little bit in between of the bush as well. It's fantastic. And, and the Grand Annual is one of those races that you can't make a definitive opinion on until you've seen the Briley. And it can change the complexion of the race with horses doubling up with those two races. So uh, I'm a bit reserved to, to give a, a tip this early out.